So I'm a PhD student at the Institute of Zoology. I think the Athena Swan process is really important for us to engage with, particularly as PhD students, because um, as we progress up the career of science, career levels of science, there's um, a decreasing number of women at each stage. So there's about 60%, 50 to 60% of women at PhD level, but this decreases to about 20 to 30% once you get to senior levels like professor. So I think the Athena Swan process is really important to help us identify these barriers and figure out why women are dropping out of science after PhD levels um, and can help us identify these barriers and figure out solutions so women aren't leaving science for issues related to their gender. So going through the Athena Swan process highlighted the importance of needing a male and a female postgraduate tutor uh, and uh, people that were accessible uh, and easy to talk to uh, so that the student body felt at ease coming to us and talking to us about any range of issues that they might have. Um, this has enabled a lot more communication between the students and the staff. Uh, we've also developed a number of different systems to highlight this. For example, we have uh, weekly speed talks which involve bringing in people from different departments across LSL and within IZ to give very brief talks uh, about the work that they do in a very informal manner. This has really improved communication across uh, the Institute but also throughout the whole of LSL um, and improved also uh, the relationship between students and students with other departments them learning about different conservation pathways, different career pathways in conservation um, and also uh, we developed monthly student lunches uh, and these student lunches also improved culture and cohesion within our department. Being part of the Athena Swan Charter has been a really great move for the Institute of Zoology and it's not just the big things that make a difference but also the small things. So for instance in my case I'm a parent, I've got a small boy at home and for me the decision now that we try to schedule any morning meetings not to start before 10 o'clock is just a really big help because that now means I can make sure to drop my son off at school before I get into work and I don't miss anything that's happening. So uh, it's, it's been really good, really helpful. So with my team, I'm responsible for the Society Scientific Publications and Science and Conservation events. And the Athena Swan process has given us an opportunity to really review the way that we recruit onto our editorial teams and also making sure that we have a good gender balance when we're inviting speakers to our conferences. And we also now have gender balance on our scientific awards committee. In terms of the Institute of Zoology, the, the Athena Swan process has allowed us to have a fuller and frank discussion about issues within the working environment. We have a dignity at work policy and diversity training for all. And I'm now one contact point for people who might be experiencing any uh, harassment or bullying at work. And again, this means that we are trying, generating a much better supportive working environment at the Institute. So I work as a part of HR, which works across the whole of ZSL, and we've been working with the a staff within the Institute throughout the Athena Swan process. So we look at the employee journey as a whole from beginning, and we've been working with managers uh, about recruitment, thinking about how they can um, make sure they're hiring on talent, so uh, reducing things like unconscious bias. We've also been working with the Institute to uh, consider the policies that we have in place, um, so particularly promoting our dignity at work policy and then um, some of the work that came um, from the Athena Swan research has been around um, really looking at how we can promote a culture of equality and diversity within the Institute and I've been working with staff there to deliver training in equality and diversity really focused on the challenges that um, scientists in particular face um, we've also worked um, following Athena Swan really thinking about how we can improve promotion and uh, career planning and development for staff within the Institute. So we've developed a promotions policy with the team there and I'm really proud of how we've tied that into the annual appraisal system so that we're really helping staff to discuss and plan for promotion and career development. And we've also been able to offer then management and leadership training to support some of those aims. And we really want to build on that again over the future. For us in HR, it's really about making sure that there's fairness, equality of opportunity, and ultimately that we are attracting and retaining the best talent, talent out there. The Institute of Zoology has a reputation for excellence in conservation science, which we're really proud of, but we want to build on and develop further. But we also want to be recognised as a, providing a high quality working environment for our scientific staff 
and all the other staff who support our scientific work. We see the diversity of our staff as a key part of this process and building a, an inclusive, flexible and supporting working environment for everyone will increase the, the quality of science we do and also the support we provide for staff through their careers. And that will then provide a, a better working environment for everyone in the Institute. Um, Athena Swan, the process of Athena Swan, we see as being fundamentally important to all of this because it provides us with a framework to think about the issues and problems we face. So we can do that in a very structured, thoughtful way. We can use that then to design and implement actions that help provide a better working environment for everybody. And crucially, we can measure progress to see whether we're making genuine lasting changes to the Institute for the benefit of everyone. And the other important thing Athena Swan is doing is it's providing a, a sense of community. So it's not my vision for the Institute, but it's everyone's vision for the Institute. So we're all coming together to discuss and design the place we all want to work in for years to come. So it's a really important, crucial part of who we are as a scientific organisation.